Howdy folks, welcome to Coffee and Tools this week and uh, we're doing the Windsor uh, woodworking bench. Found this puppy at a yard sale. Uh, I've got about $25 invested. Uh, a few weeks back I showed you there was a stack of drawers. Uh, I put two of the drawers together but the slides are bad. That was probably the one thing I noticed about everybody that reviewed these complained about the uh, drawer slides. And it was really two problems. They're really cheap, nasty little slides. They don't work well. And the drawers only come out about halfway. Uh, which is, seems kind of, I don't know, cheap, but uh, the YouTubers, uh, some of the reviewers also said, hey, you know, uh, upgrade with some new slides. So I ran over to Home Depot and you need 14 inch slides, if you want to write that down. 14 inch. So I got some 14 inch slides, some nice kits that have soft clothes and all that with the uh, option on them and they're about $13 a piece. So you're gonna have a little bit of money in the bench by the time you get done. I like the bench. It's, it's, it's kind of, you know, it's a nice bench. It's a hard, hardwood top, uh, hardwood legs, and then it's got some flimsy uh, stuff in there with it that's not so great. But the uh, 14 inch slides, these require half inch gap, and the bench doesn't set up or have half inch gaps in here for these drawers to go in. So today I was gonna show you how to put these slides in and make them fit by modifying the bench a little bit. Yes. So the first thing you want to do is remove the, the hardware, the old hardware. And the, the trick is this board right here. So I'm going to just take this whole board out of here. So, after you cut that piece of wood, <laughs> 7 by 13, roughly, you measure your desk, I mean, just make sure, but uh, this one here, it's just old, it's not even quite snug. It's just, boy, it's a nice fit though. Uh, we're gonna just make this flush right across. And I could probably clamp it up or something, but we're gonna also use uh, inch and a half uh, Craig pocket joint screws that are for hardwood. So they'll have a, a very fine thread on them, which is for hardwood applications. So, there we go. And let's see if we have to clamp up or not. I'm not sure if I can do this by hand or not. Uh, yeah, let's see if I can hold it in place. I want that nice and flush. Let's see if we can get a screw started. And we're having problems. Yeah, nope, that's, that's got it nicely, so. Let's get the hole. Yeah. Okay. Boy, that's tight. Yeah. So now we have, like I said, a half inch wider profile. So now we can put mount our new hardware. So the next thing we're going to need is a big fatty speed square to go across here. And I'm going to make a line to where the holes need to be for the uh, the new drawer slides. Cool. Let well, me we come back. So I'm going to measure down from the top. Uh, to locate these now and I checked the old screw holes and it was a quarter of an inch off from this side to that side the other set of drawers you can see the same thing they don't even line up so <laughs> so we're gonna do we're gonna come down here and just say two and a half right about there and I just need a little mark so now I'm gonna bring this up this will make it a lot easier to locate those screws and of course because they're behind the drawer and the uh, slide hardware, I don't really care about the mark too much as long as we have something, yep, there we go, something we can go by. And uh, I'll even come all the way up to here and go back there like that. Yeah, uh, they were spaced. That's about three and seven eighths. Uh, it was probably I'm going to take a guess and say that it was probably supposed to be four inch from the from this line to the next one, which would give me a total of uh, 
two and a half. That'll give me six and a half down to here. So let's take a mark and I'll go off the old line. And I guess I'll come down four inches. But after what I just checked on, and what I just saw over on the other side, <laughs> whatever I do is better than what they did. So, and again, like I said, this is a kit that comes in a box, so I'm not sure. I guess it sort of depends on how good the uh, people are that are installing it now. When I put the screws in, I'm going to put the front screw in and the middle screw. The back screw, there won't be any line, so we'll just be driving the screw into the lumber at that point. But now we know where those slides have to go on this side. We'll duplicate this on the other side, but right now we're going to get these in. Oh, you know, the moment that everybody's been, the moment that everybody's been waiting for. Let's see if we can get uh, one of these open. And there's, it's really not that much. There's like, there's two slides, some screws in the packaging. That's about it. So we'll just whip these open and show you what we have. Yeah, these are really nice slides. I think they are. Well, I think they are. Now, there's the slides. Okay, so getting there. Uh, I had to switch out this first screw because this is hardwood and the screws that came with the Home Depot kit are just a little too uh, soft. The head was actually virtually almost stripping going into this hardwood. So I switched it out for some hard type, better screw quality than what they gave me with the kit here. Just, uh, just so you know, and this is Finishing up on this side. Let's see, where's that black line? There it is. There we go. We're back. Well, there's the drawers, so get the hardware off. <laughs> oh man. Uh, they probably just did a, a middle of the road scrub line thing here to locate the screws. I'm going to take a look at that. The uh, instructions that came with. The new slides actually, like I said, sort of put it at the bottom down here, but I'm thinking the center would just be fine. And you could go to like a two inch from the top down, make a line, and uh, say that's where our hardware has to attach, and put it a little bit lower than what it was. And there's two inches there, and come over here just to make another dot. There we go, two inches and get this expensive yardstick ruler on this job and line up my holes uh -huh. like that. and there and so now that's where we want our new screws to go in and I guess we'll just abandon these old holes now let's check the other side well, yep yeah, and two inch and we'll do a two inch and oh yep so let's see well that should fit nicely in the middle in here and that's got to come all the way to that plus the line so i'm going to uh, throw a clamp on this side so like that so that i can just hand hold and work the other side there we go at least lowe's wouldn't do this to me or would they Oh, probably. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, this is, these screws really need to bite. There we go. 
Now yeah, let's see if it works. It does. So here's the big, here's the gainer part. I'll just show you this. I've got these two mounted now. But you see the drawer comes out almost completely, like totally exposed. Where the old ones, the drawer came out to about there. Half the drawer seemed like it was still underneath the bench or something. So these 14-inch uh, ones from Home Depot, they work great. Not fussy on the screws. Uh, we won't get into reviews on Home Depot stuff. but And this is what they call soft. Uh, it has a soft stop. So it sort of it goes back and then it has a little soft thing that sort of helps lock it in. So i got to finish these two. And then we got another, uh, I guess we'll call it upgrade to do on this bench yet. To do with these drawers because... There's something missing I haven't showed you guys, but we're going to come back to that in a second. So you saw me uh, do this side. This side here, I had to shim out a quarter of an inch. So I cut some old scrap plywood and put it in here under the, the drop drawer slides in here. So that way, that's a done deal. Now the other thing was there was this piece here that came across underneath the bench that was slotted and hit the center of this, this plate coming down from the top. So it sort of adds a little bit of structural integrity to the bench, perhaps. So I took a scrap piece of uh, one by three, that was just an old piece, and cut it up and screwed it up at the ends. And also I had to shim this piece here, so that was what you saw. I was gluing the little spacer to make up the difference because this doesn't come down as far as those seven by 13 end pieces that we made. But you need that so you can clear the drawers and what have you anyways. And so, we covered that and we lost all the footage on the camera so that's why we're I'm backing up and doing this so the uh, replacement piece was 48 and three quarter just in case you know and the piece I shimmed here was a three quarter inch by three quarter inch block which I came straight up with and glued in the center which I think we got some of that footage but we lost a little bit here all right here we go so this is the backyard this morning uh, so during the video last night and into this morning, this is the sort of mess that uh, happened. We had quite a quite some strong winds. We had quite a storm. It was a hurricane that kind of jogged a little bit. Turned out, I guess it went right over top of us by the looks of it here, because we're uh, just east of, uh, I guess, and just north of uh, Galveston. So, yeah, we got we got our butts kicked last night a little bit. That's not too bad. Yeah, it's just got a, quite a mess to clean up. And my river out back is a little bit higher than it normally is. So, yeah. All good. Now well, let's get back to the uh, bench and see if we can finish this up. Okay, good. Recording, whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the uh, piece in, in question here. And I ended up making it three quarter. Originally when I measured it, it called for three quarter, but it looked like a little tight. So I thought we'll go with five eighths. And then it didn't matter because it was like, I've got so much scrap <laughs> left over. It's like, who cares? So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put some good old glue on yep and I'm gonna make it real messy and just do both ends yeah that ought to be good and then we're gonna set it underneath so as soon as I get this in place you guys can come in and have a look around how's that sound yeah there we go oh, 12 inches should be able to do this let's see oh yeah Mm. Wow. Okay. Yep. That's going to hold her up in there. Now, you guys can't see very well, so I'm going to bring you in a little bit. There we go. <sighs> okay, so we're up underneath here at the front now. And you can see this is the little chunk I had to make because, like I said, this didn't come down low enough anymore. And then this is just screwed in at each end in the center. And I've got this all glued in place once the glue sets. And I've got my trusty 12 inch speed square holding this up nice and tight for the time being until that glue sets. And once that glue sets, that should be a done deal. I don't think this board was all that important, but I guess it takes a lot of this out, this wiggly, wiggly, waggly thing here for these drawers when they're opening, closing, whatever. I'm thinking about putting a little trim piece right down the front here to kind of close this up a little bit and make it look a little prettier. It really didn't come out didn't come out all that well. I'm kind of disappointed with this bottom drawer. It's a little off, but I guess I could I can live with it. It's just a workbench at some point. So Oh wow, this has been two days of shooting and a hurricane over top of me. Wow. 